Hi and welcome to my channel. If you cannot tell, I am so excited. <sighs> so excited for today's video because I'm going to be putting my hair away into a protective style and I know my hair thrives from protective styles and I've been in need of one. So about two nights ago I stretched my hair without any heat and I took it out now and I am ready to put her away. So if you'd like to see what I'm going to be doing to my hair then please keep on watching. today I am going to be putting my hair into basically mini twist um I saw somebody do this video a while ago months ago and I bought the hair ready to do it and then I bought products and I was like oh, I want to use the products first but my hair is in need of a break um, so I'm going to be using this right here and it is ooh, upside down but it is the expression springy afro twist 24 inch three times so there's three bundles in it and I bought two of them I will try to have it linked below but um yeah let's just get into it I will also have the original video that I saw linked below if I can still find it so I'm gonna part my hair off um, so I can start and then I'll do the first one on camera and then come back again to show you the other ones because I feel like it's better when you really get into the groove of things you know what I mean um, and I'm also going to be showing you guys the other methods that I've used before to achieve style so there's the rubber band method there is the like braid at the root method so I'll just be showing I'll just be showing you guys especially for people who just struggle with getting a grip on the hair. So I have my hair parted down the middle as best as I can. I don't think you need to freak out about parting, just make them as straight as possible. And if someone's that close to your hair, that they're pointing it out, then they need to back up. Especially when we're in Pandora's box right now, okay? But um, then I go from one ear to the other ear and I just part it off. So in the end, you have one big section in the back and two small ones in the front and I think that's one of the easier ways to just make sure that the back is for my head shape the back is just straighter so I'm gonna part it off okay, so I've parted it off as best as I can without a mirror to be able to see the back so let me try and show y'all And then I'm going to, you could if you want, just split this in half and just work on each side, like one, the right or the left side, you know? But um, I just find that my head shape and braiding is all about your head shape. That's why you can't be hard on yourself when you're first starting off because you just learn to do it. So like here, I take out this piece because that's just how my head is and it always is these these pieces need to be by themselves but I just go in for my moisturizer to use the um, I use the main choice the alpha aka doesn't get much butter than this daily hair dressing and I personally like to use a butter because I've already stretched my hair and I went through the effort without using heat so if I use something that is water-based your hair will just revert and not everyone can braid on natural hair and this is what the hair looks like um i got mine from sam's beauty i believe and i haven't used expression hair in a while but i did like them back in the day i've used them a lot for my marley twist that i used to do um so yeah this is a hundred percent connectalon hair and it's pre-separated and pre-fluffed which we love to see it is a 16 i oh know nope yeah it is um, 24 inches and it is in the color one. And then what I'm gonna do is part off my hair. So let me see if I can get that for y'all on camera. Also, my hair has grown so much. Look at her. Okay, I'm not, I'm not standing up, but look at her, yes. Okay. That's 
that feels pretty straight to me. I don't know. But like I said, I don't really stress out about it being perfectly straight just because it is my own hair and no one really cares. I mean, as long as you don't look a mess, okay? So I'm just taking a little bit of this. This is one of my favorite butters. Oh, so great. I do think they changed the formulation from the old ones that they used to have, but this one is so much better now. Now what I'm gonna do is just part off the amount that I want. And I always think the back is like a fun experimental time because you can decide what size you like and what size you don't and then just go with it. Sorry if my chair squeaks. So I'm taking a little bit of the anti-breakage serum and I'm adding a little bit. Can I tell you a tiny bit? She's tiny. A little bit to my end. So I've been taking one of the hair, like this is how long it is. And then I take it and I split it in half. It is extremely windy outside, so I'm probably going to do a voiceover, but I split it and I take it and I split it in half and then I cut it. So I just took it, folded it in half, cutting it with a scissors. So that one is now two pieces. Then I take one of those pieces and in the there's like a low coil. Let me see if I can get it to focus little coil there I just take that and I split that in half so from one piece I've been getting four pieces if that makes sense four hair pieces from it so that's why it's pretty short but I just wanted something a little bit more practical for right now like I just didn't want to deal with long hair and things like that so I'm just fluffing it out then some shine jam taking a little bit so I'm taking my hair and I'm splitting it in two because it's gonna help with braiding in the extensions with my actual hair So I'm taking it and then I'm grabbing my hair. One is with my real hair, one piece is just the regular hair, and then one piece is my hair attached to the extension. And I just braid. That's the way I like to do it. I find that I'm able to grip better like that. Then I braid it. A little bit and then take a hair clip and I join them now so that both pieces will have half of my actual hair and then I start twisting down So this method is for people who don't have a good grip and there is no judgment. What you're going to do is you're going to braid your own hair. So split it into three pieces and just braid. You're going to need a crochet hook. Open it up. Take the hair, and then what you're gonna do is take your hair, oops, it's closed, put it through. So now it's in between like that. Take the hair, hook it onto the crochet hook. 
close it and pull it through. When you pulled it through, make sure to pull so it's halfway. You forgot to say this, but you're gonna braid down the roots a little bit. And then after you've braided down, take it and split it in half. And then we can get to that. You can just start twisting down. That's it. No, look. Last method. Okay, so with this method, I'm using the rubber bands. I don't know where I got these from, but basically I put a little bit of the butter on the rubber bands so they can slide onto my hair easier. And now I'm just putting the rubber band on my hair. So after the rubber bands in my hair, I'm doing the same method as I did before with just the braids of putting the crochet hook into my hair. And then once it's finally comfortably in there, you're gonna take um, the extension hair and you're gonna hook it onto the crochet hook like that and pull through. And now this method can differ. You can either braid down a little bit of your hair or you can just go straight into twisting. But once that's evenly put, I, in this one, I'm splitting my hair in half and just going straight into the twist. And this is what it looks like. It looks pretty much the same as all the other ones in my hair. And then I just took it out to show you what it would look like with you just braiding a little bit at the roots first, splitting it in half, and then doing a full twist. I personally like braiding at the root a little bit. I think it gives you more security and your hair lays a little bit flatter, but either way is well, is good. And you can do either method when you have the rubber bands in your hair. Those are the three methods, but I just personally like braiding at the roots. Um, I've done the rubber band braid on my sister, but not myself. And I braided at the roots with the rubber bands. But if you are someone who cannot braid at all, I just wanted to give you an option that you can use. Um, I'm gonna finish up these sections off camera and then I will be back to show the whole look. But so far I am loving it. Yeah. Okay, I think this is as good as I'm gonna get it. For the last like 10, 15 minutes I've been struggling with my camera, but it is what it is. Anywho, we're finished. Actually, I was done like a week ago but I just was so lazy so we're here now and this is what it looks like I just did a half up half down but I can take it down so I can show y'all so this is what it looks like half oh. so this is what it looks like split down the middle I like it I also like going like ooh, you know a little okay 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 and I think that short hairstyles are so underrated. Like, are you kidding me? First of all, this has been so easy to work out in. I've like had it for about a week now and no complaints, extremely lightweight. Um, the only thing I would change is maybe the color. I would have gotten a 1B instead of a 1 just because it's a little dark for me, but nothing wrong with that because sometimes I like darker colors when I do my hair. It's just how I'm feeling. But this is just so, oh, so cute. 
it's such a cute look it's a vibe a lot of people think that it's my actual hair like I was um, talking to my friends and they were like oh your hair looks so good and I said thanks I bought it it's my hair period so this is what it looks like I love it um, putting it into my hair was really easy um, there's no smell it's very very lightweight I really really like it and I have I used one pack and then like two strands from the second one so you could get away with one pack but I would just use two just to be safe um, I'll try and link below where I got it from and like the direct link but besides that I don't think there's anything else to say um, I'm very happy I did this you know I'm having a break from my hair and I'm feeling cute I wake up don't have to do my hair I just put it up oh, period it's just good life's good but um, if you stay till the end, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know um, what other hairstyles you'd like me to do. I love doing protective styles. I love braids, twists, things like that. So let me know. Um, I post every Sunday at 10.30 a.m. So make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And I will see y'all in next week's video. Bye.